morning. Today is Saturday the 15th and my 16th day out. Uh, right now I am sitting in a Motel 6 near Port Clinton. Uh, the last couple of days I have not been able to film. Uh, long story short, I had some issues with uh, memory on my phone for recording video and uh, I think a couple of videos um, I ended up deleting by mistake so uh, if you look at episode 10 there's some nice pictures uh, but the videos I lost uh, and that's coming out of Duncannon but there are a few nice view shots there uh, I think I've got the problem corrected so I should be uh, better going forward uh, but I did run out of memory on Thursday which was a long day. We were pushing 19 miles to a uh, Eagle's Nest shelter, and uh, it was just a long day, a lot of rocks hopping, and uh, I got worn out by 6.30 at night, uh, three miles short, and I ended up just stealth camping near a, uh, a stream. Uh, I did not catch up with the group. Actually, the following day, Friday, I passed <coughs> the group and got into Port Clinton. Uh, it was just like a 12 and a half mile day. Had a nice lunch and had a shuttle driver take me to uh, the motel for a shower and uh, took me to get resupplied at Walmart. So I'm just waiting on him to pick me up. I will go back to Port Clinton and start my ascent up the next ridge. Okay, a nice climb out of Port Clinton up on top of the ridge line. Breezy morning, but uh, feels good. Excuse me. Um, just uh, had an observation, just thought I'd share it. It's an interesting dynamic on the trail. Uh, there's actually uh, a pretty clear hierarchy of uh, who's who here. The through hikers out of Springer are the top dogs, and the flip floppers like me are secondary. And then there's the section hikers and the day hikers. It's all uh, quite distinct in their grouping and they're pretty easy to tell right away by their gear and their their smell and their their gait. Um, it's a funny dynamic. I try to say hello to everybody and hope I don't get jaded like the uh, the through hikers. So want it to be fun for everybody. Okay, I just hit my 200 mile marker and I've recorded it with appropriately Pennsylvania rocks because we're in Pennsylvania rock country. And uh, none of my crew is here to celebrate it with, but I'm with a southbounder section hiker, Maps, and uh, I'll say hello to you. Hey, hey. And a Survivor, how you doing? A shout out. And yeah. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me. It's always nice to, to chat with people. So. That was cool. I just met... Uh, Maps, who is a section hiker heading south. And we had a five minute conversation, but he happened to just come along as I was making note of my 200 marker. Uh, it was a pleasure. It kind of raised my spirits. I've been hiking alone for two and a half days and just having a nice conversation with somebody was very nice. Uh, they say the trail provides, and uh, this morning it did. All right, I'm doing some talking this morning. Uh, there's nothing else to do. <laughs> there's no views to sh share with you, so I hope you'll bear with me. Um, so I mentioned I resupplied yesterday, and I went to Walmart, which is kind of the holy grail for uh, hikers to resupply, but, so many hikers have gone through all the desired hiker meals. Like, uh, it's a brand called Mountain House. All the good ones were gone. There was just a few left. And I try to be selective because of my gluten intolerance issues. 
but uh, generally go for the chicken and rice or chicken teriyaki. None of them were available. I ended up with uh, chicken and dumplings. Not the best for me, but it'll do. Other than that, dinner-wise, uh, a lot of the young people live on ramen noodles. I can't do that. And I've tried the Noor's rice sides, and I find them pretty horrible. So there's not a lot of other options. So I bought a bunch of uh, Idahoan potatoes and these little uh, chicken packets. They're very filling, but I don't know how how long I can live on those things. We'll we'll see. Uh, maybe we'll mix it up with grits <laughs> next time. Lunches, it's all about tuna packets. They did have gluten-free wraps, so that was a real bonus for me. And uh, breakfast this week, we're doing oatmeal. Those are good, uh, filling, and easy to carry. And I bought, of course, a bunch of snacks, uh, protein bars and nuts and stuff like that. So, I got a full pack. <laughs> it's heavy today. And I know my friends are waiting for me. When I say friends, I mean the rocks. Uh, but so far, this morning, not too bad. This is Pulpit Rock with a nice view. Rock monument. Strange. So it's clear to me that the people of Pennsylvania worship the rock god, so I'm making an offering here to the rock god. And it gives me a safe passage through Pennsylvania. Uh huh. Okay, I'm done hiking for the day. I did 14.7. I'm at the Xville shelter. Uh, I'll be staying uh, here tonight. Uh, it was a good day weather-wise. Um, just the sun was out and uh, just weather was great. No complaints there. Uh, we went to through a state park that took us up to the Pinnacle Cliffs. Uh, weekend hikers were there, all of them passing me by with me with my heavy pack. Uh, a little demoralizing, but uh, I got through it. Uh, quite a bit of rocks on the trail going up, but uh, coming down was more like a gravel road, so I got a little relief there. Um, otherwise, I don't know if my group will catch up with me here. Um, we shall see. And uh, that's it for now. I will check in tomorrow.